Well, men, it's Testimony Tuesday again. It's great to be with you. Matt Palmer here with Catholic Men's Ministry, and I'm joined by my brother in Christ, a good friend, John Schechter. A lot of you guys know John. Recently retired from AEP and uh, the father of six and the grandfather of eight. John is living a beautiful life. John, how you doing, brother? I'm doing wonderful, Matt. Greatly blessed, and thanks. How about you? We, I am doing really well. I'm just excited to, to again, have a Testimony Tuesday where we just invite guys like you that are out trying to live this beautiful faith to just kind of share a few minutes with the rest of us. So, John, you know, one of the questions we, we love to hear men respond to is, is how are you seeing the Lord at work in your life, the life of your family, um, the, the life that you're living right now. Tell us a little bit about how you're seeing the Lord working in your, in your life and those you love. In, indeed, he is working. The, the spirit is working. And um, I'm grateful for how that has, has changed and increased over years, especially since becoming Catholic uh, 22 or 23 years ago. Um, I, and about the same time that I became Catholic, our family was relocated by my, by my work environment from uh, Indiana to, to Columbus. And so about that time is when I started becoming involved in my Catholic, my newly found Catholic faith. Beautiful. And I, I saw things going on. I saw these people called the Knights of Columbus. I saw these people doing these things called uh, Catholic men's conferences. And uh, these things, these uh, Catholic men's luncheon club events. And they intrigued me. And uh, I began attending those and found myself joining the Knights of Columbus because I thought, these guys are doing things that I like what they're doing. They're serving others. They're expressing their faith. Um, they're doing things to help their parish. I think I'd like to be a part of, of this kind of work. And uh, when I would attend a, a luncheon club event or an occasional men's conference, I found inspiration. And uh, it, it, it uh, lit a fire within me to do things myself, to become involved and, and in some small way, I suppose, Matt, to lead some events like those. You know, um, it's interesting as we live this adventure, John and men, um, we understand that we have our own prayer life, our own relationship with Jesus, but mm -hmm. it gets expressed through our relationship with other men, particularly other brothers in Christ, other Catholic men. And so I love that you're sharing that part of your, the way you experience Christ is through others and through the fellowship that God has called you to as you've come into the Catholic church, fellowship with other men and I, I think that's so such a great word for us today. So men, you know, um, John is, is, is reminding us that as we grow in our own prayer life, that's so important, um, but also that we can experience and even see Christ in the faces of our brothers, our sisters, our family, and that the fellowship we have with others is part of, of Catholic life. We are, a, we are the universal church. We are made for communion. John, as we kind of wrap up this, this Testimony Tuesday, I, I'm just so grateful for the insight you've already shared. Give the guys that are, give the men out there, uh, what, what would you recommend? You know, we're all starting Advent here. Uh, we're going through this COVID season. What are some things that you would suggest to the rest of us that could be um, a source? What could we, what, are, what simple steps could we take to, to light the fire of Christ more deep, more brightly in our own hearts and to prepare for his coming at Christmas? That's a great question, Matt. And, and of course, all people are different. All men are different. And sometimes different things motivate us men. But many men are action-oriented and want to do concrete things rather than vague, abstract things. 
And so I would encourage all men during this Advent uh, to identify something that you, we, you, and I can do each day during Lent. And remember, hey, guys, we're already in the third day of Lent here now. So time's a wasting. Time's a wasting. Yeah. But there, you consider attending a Lent ad, uh, ad excuse me, an Advent uh, retreat. Did I say Lent? I meant Advent. Uh, consider a retreat or consider some kind of a change or increase in your daily uh, prayer life or start a daily prayer life. Uh, one of the things that I'm doing is I've discovered that the University of Notre Dame, go Irish, has a daily uh, feed from their website that takes you to a different uh, sacred place on the campus of Notre Dame, and, and a person explains each day uh, what it is that's special about that place and how it stirs them spiritually. But that's just one option. The, the church and the magisterium and the prayers and devotionals that we have as Catholics offer us so many different options at a time like Advent here. Um, I, I would encourage a man to take a concrete step, find something that you can do at a time of day that you can do it morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is that works, not something in the late at night where you're falling asleep. Okay, guys, but at a time that works for you and um, maintain that through the uh, days of Advent here. John, what a grace, what a blessing you are to us today. Thanks for taking a few minutes of your day to kind of just share with all of us what the Lord's doing in your life and has been doing over the years and, and some specific thoughts. Men, let's live the adventure. This adventure of faith is the greatest adventure that we'll ever be on, the journey towards Jesus, towards a deeper and deeper relationship with him through his church. Let's live that adventure beginning today. Our mission, men, is simple. We want to help all of us center our lives on Christ, become saints, and allow St. Joseph to inspire us. So let's use John's words today to encourage us. Remember our men's conference, February 27th. You can go onto our website, catholicmensministry.com. You'll see more information, and soon we'll be taking registrations. Thanks, men out there. Live the adventure. John, have a great day. God bless you, brother. Thank you, Matt. It's been a blessing.